G'day, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. We're now on day 93 of our trek around Australia on a motorbike. We leave the Nullarbor Roadhouse in this episode and head for Streaky Bay. It's a journey of about 400 kilometres and on the way we stop at the head of the bike, have a good look around there and we pass through nice little towns such as Seduna. Sit back, relax and enjoy. So we're at the head of the bite, which is just to the east of the Nullarbor Roadhouse and it's officially the start of the Great Australian yes, Bite. That's, that's that's no, it's the top of the Great Australian oh, Bite, the head of the bite. It's the bite. <laughs> it's the bite, yeah, the top of the bite. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's only a few kilometres east and it's a good road in, so we're a bit worried it might be all dirt yeah, and everything like that. Because the weather's been a bit yucky. Yeah. And the wind's up again today, but we've got a bit of sunshine, so... We've got a senior's discount. <laughs> Seven bucks each to get in, so it's we'll, a bargain. I think we'll edit that bit out. <laughs> but, um, anyhow. That's pretty good. The head of the bite is just east of the Nullarbor Roadhouse. There's a modest entry fee and it gives way to some great views on viewing platforms along a really well maintained boardwalk. The lady who looked after the shop and the entry was mining the 
business for some friends and she actually lived in Tenerfield, New South Wales and she's looking forward to the change of seasons. So it's a really nice place to visit. The Great Australian Bight itself is actually a marine desert and as it received very little rainfall throughout the year. The Air Highway is actually 1,600 kilometres long and it was opened in 1942 and it's named after Edward John Air, who was the first European to cross the Nullarbor by land in 1840 and 41. The route itself runs from Norseman in Western Australia, past Eucla to the state border and continues to the town of Seduna. Um, and its significance is that it's the only sealed road linking the states of Western Australia and South Australia. After travelling the Great Australian Bight, we were down at sea level as we pulled into Sejuna, which is a really pretty little spot. The town itself was proclaimed in 1901, and it's a major fishing port today. We finally said goodbye to the Air Highway and turned right onto the Flinders Highway, which took us down the Air Peninsula. The Air Peninsula is bound by the Spencer Gulf to the east, the Great Australian Bight to the west, and the Gawler Ranges are to the north. It was named, of course, after Edward John Eyre. It's really known for fishing here because more than 65% of Australian seafood comes from this region.
making over breakfast. <laughs> Just had a great breakfast at the, what was it called? Drift? Drift Cafe. Build your own breakfast. It was fantastic and great coffee. But we'd already had a coffee up the road early. <laughs> Another good Start one. Right <laughs> so we have to, have been running the last few days. Been a bit naughty. But it's a beautiful spot here. Look at this. We really enjoyed the Eyre Peninsula and in particular our stay in Streaky Bay. The people were wonderful, the place was very relaxed, uh, the food was excellent and the prices were reasonable too. So a big thumbs up to Streaky Bay. Okay, we've got the drone out. There's a me and bloody flies. We're out on the e-bikes. And it's beautiful though. It's a lovely day, except for the wind and the flies. It's great. So Streaky Bay, the population's probably a little bit under 2,000. Interesting fact is that the name Streaky Bay was given to it by Matthew Flinders during a voyage around Australia in The Investigator, where he noticed much discoloured streaks in the water at Streaky Bay. It mightn't look it, but Cape Bower Road proved to be quite challenging on a quite a heavy road bike with two people on it. It's quite well well maintained road, but lots of soft gravel. 
so it was a little bit hairy for us. Uh, we had an adventure bike, would have been easier. But anyhow, it was a great view and we got through unscathed. Thanks again for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode sees us going through to Adelaide and the Adelaide Hills. We leave Streaky Bay, we head to Cal, we get a ferry across the Spencer Gulf and land in Wallaroo. We make our way down to Adelaide. I've got a little bit of a problem with an engine light that I need to get fixed, so we get some servicing done down there before we head up to the Adelaide Hills. See you then.